Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my last play of WWE 2K17, my career mode. Today, we're fighting that guy, and we are continuing our trek uh, to number one, uh, finish this feud with Kofi Kingston, and number two, uh, get more rankings in the IC title field. Here we go, taking on Jose. I suppose it's only appropriate to say no way, Jose. Uh, as we are here on a fine Sunday, very minimal amount of any wrestling news to speak of here, but there was a fake WrestleMania card kind of uh, making the rounds yesterday, the day before, which uh, if you paid any attention to a lot of the booking lately, uh, would seem... Ridiculous, because it is ridiculous. But uh, some of it, you know, seems like, okay, you know, we, we know Brock and Goldberg, right? So that's fine. But this fake WrestleMania card did not have Brock and Goldberg Codebreaker going on last. And you damn sure know, even if the title is not involved, which at this point it might be uh, after Fastlane next Sunday, even if the title is not involved you know that Brock and Goldberg is going to be the last match. That's the biggest match on the card, bar none. Uh, and regardless of any title being defended there, uh, pretty sure that match goes on last. I don't see anything that they could possibly put on that would follow that match. But, you know, I could be wrong. Uh, I've certainly been wrong on this show before. But uh, I will say right now, that seems like a lock for the final match uh, at the end of that pay-per-view, but also on that fake WrestleMania card, they had Taker and AJ Styles, and as much as I was pulling for Taker and AJ Styles, that ship sailed at the Rumble when they had the interaction between Roman Reigns and Taker, so you know it's Reigns and Taker at Mania. Uh, believe me, I think it is a waste to have the supposed match of AJ Styles and Shane McMahon for WrestleMania. That's, no, don't do that, but it seems like they're going to do that. So, uh, unfortunate, but, you know, they are, uh, you know, the ones in charge here, and we can only sit back and watch uh, and see how it plays out. So hopefully it's not terrible. But I still feel like having one of, if not the best wrestler in the world right now, uh, fight the boss's son, more or less, is kind of a waste of uh, what could be a much better match. Or, you know, a much better feud for WrestleMania. Considering... That last year was his debut at Mania, and he fought and he fought Jericho. That, that match was okay, but it wasn't. Any, it was not anything special. And honestly, if anyone in the company has benefited the most from the brand split, you know, besides Heath Slater, uh, it would be AJ Styles because uh, number one, they they put him in a feud with Cena, and he won a feud with Cena, which you know has hasn't happened in a long fucking time. And number two. Seen left, and he just pretty much had SmackDown to himself to establish that. Guess what? AJ Styles, fucking awesome. Um, but no, he's not fighting Taker at whoop 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 at WrestleMania. Uh, as much as I thought you could easily book the Phenom versus the Phenomenal One, that shit writes itself. But no, unfortunately, that WrestleMania thing was fake. Because really, anybody who has a printer can type something up. And then print a page out and, 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 and use their phone to take a picture of the page they printed out. It's not hard. It's not hard. Alright, Jose, what is your finisher? I'd like to know. Codebreaker. Okay, now I know. Now I know. Will that be enough to put you away on this Sunday? Yes, it is. And then we have the post-match beatdown, baby. As we usually do here, as I am still a heel for reasons. It's just easier, to be honest. It's way easier to be a heel in this game uh, than it is to be an honorable face. Uh, not that faces, you know, these days are all that honorable. They kind of, you know, still do kind of some some real some real heel stuff, but they still get cheered for because they're, we're, we're told they're faces, but uh, that was dumb. I, I, I meant to, well, I meant to do a thing, I didn't do a thing, and I'm too stupid. Too stupid! So, let's hit that. Nope, what are you doing? I didn't hit that button. Gotta get stamina back here. And then wait to hit the 630. Come on, stamina. Slug sent on. 
And that's all she wrote. The Triple H and Stardust feud continues, Triple H defeating Stardust. And that brings us to Monday Night Raw, where it is my destiny to fight Alberto Del Rio. And it looks like tomorrow, in addition to being Moveset Monday, needs a new t-shirt. My t-shirt sales are just tanking. Just tanking. Stardust Triple H continues, and Triple H continues to squash Stardust. Okay, let's take on Mr. El Patron here. This match has been building for weeks, and then here comes Kofi Kingston to ruin it. Thanks, Kof. Go sit in your chair ringside. This is going to make way less sense uh, in next year's game, because in next year's game, in theory, they'll have an accurate arena, and the announced table on Raw is no longer ringside. So this whole sitting on a chair thing, and they've done it. On Raw, they had Enzo and Cass kind of sitting, you know, ringside, and it made no sense. Like, there's no announce table to sit there. So those interactions, those classic wrestling interactions of, oh, I was just sitting on, on commentary, uh, but you got to have the attack happen at ringside, make way less sense. Uh, but, you know, it's wrestling. Uh, I'm sure at some point they'll put the Raw commentary table back down at ringside. It's been up on the stage before, uh, not the first time. Um, so, it won't be the first time, and it won't be the last time. Anyway, uh, it is Sunday, which means Raw is tomorrow. And, uh, we know a few things going in here, and there are a few assumptions going in here into, uh, the go-home show for Fastlane, which is next Sunday. Uh, and hopefully that'll be a good show. Uh, but we know there'll be a sit-down interview with Seth freaking Rollins. Now... That, to me, sounds like they're going forward with their plans for Rollins and Triple H. Whether or not that ends up being the case... Uh, oh, no, it's just solid steel steps. Um, th that kind of remains to be seen. But if they're going through putting him on TV, that feels like they're going to actually have him uh, at least be involved somehow in that Mania match. Uh, hopefully his... MCL deal will be healed up or, you know, healed enough to have that match. Just wear a knee brace. Um, so that, that's confirmed. Now, what's not confirmed and what has been kind of, you know, kind of on the cards is having Lesnar and having Jericho. Now, Lesnar obviously not fighting at Fastlane, but Goldberg is. Um, and I haven't heard a confirmation on whether or not Goldberg is going to be on Raw or not. And you'd imagine they kept Chris Jericho off of Raw last week because of the, you know, he had to, he had to sell the beatdown from Owens at the Festival of Friendship. So that means that, you know, he's been appearing uh, at the house shows overseas. And uh, there was a, a bunch of my health, which fucking sucks. Um, back in the ring. Uh, so... It would not surprise me to have an interaction there as you are eventually building to your Mania match between Owens and Jericho. Now, does Jericho cost Owens the belt at Fastlane? We'll see. Does Brock Lesnar interfere in that match at Fastlane? We'll see. There's, uh, I think, a lot of different permutations and options that could happen at that Fastlane match. It might not just be a straight squash like everyone is assuming it's going to be. Like, I think that there's a very good chance that they put the belt on Goldberg. Um, because, why wouldn't you? Because you, you, you want to have the actual main event be for the belt. Because that's kind of, you know, a very Vince line of thinking there. You're going to try to elevate that belt and whatnot. But, uh, once again, I did not hit a comeback, which sucks. Um, so, whoops. Gut check. Really, Del Rio? Really? You're covered in baby oil here. Come on now. This is ridiculous. Where, Where's your manager, Del Rio? Where's, where's, where's Paige? Um, how about... No. I had to actually concentrate there for a second. Uh, going for the roll-up, Del Rio, is not a good look. You're like, Destiny! Oh, the backstabber. I'm just... Ever since that attack by Kofi, he's just been like, running roughshod here. Like, the corner got turned, 
As soon as that happened, yeah, he's calling for it. He's like, see, see, see. He's got two finishers. How the fuck did that happen? Oh, I'm gonna end up tapping out here because I can't. Oh, uh, yep. Destiny! Kofi cost me this match. That worked as intended. Kofi cost me this match. I guess that makes me a little chihuahua. Or whatever. That is most unfortunate that because of the interference by Kofi Kingston, I tapped out to the cross arm breaker. Damn you, Kofi Kingston. Damn you to hell. I'm still at 91 points, so is it that big of a deal? Not really. Anyhow, I'm fighting Del Rio again, and that's going to be tomorrow. Hopefully no interference from Kofi Kingston. I'll get my win back, you know, 50-50 booking. Anyway, uh, yeah, tomorrow, moveset Monday, I'm going to go into all that Hall of Fame DLC moves and kind of pick out ones that I think are interesting to do, and that should be cool. Thanks for watching. I'm a tax lug. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel, and I'm out.